Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and today we're going to make this really cute, um, it's an accordion folder to hold your cards and envelopes. You could give this as a gift, keep it yourself to keep all your cards organized in, and your envelopes. Let's see if we can find some cards. Here's some cards that I made. Whoops. That one tore Put your cards in there, envelopes, sort them out. You could put a label on these little tabs to, you know, for birthdays, anniversaries, sympathy, that kind of thing. But I thought this would be really cute to go with the, all those, I think, 45, 48 cards that May May made the other day with that pack of the Creating in Faith uh, journaling cards that she got from us. I thought that would be really cute to store all those in until you get ready to use them. So let's get started. This will be a little bit lengthy. It does take a little bit of paper, but it's well worth it. And I'm using the new, this is the peach cardstock that we got in just recently. And then this is from the Courtship Lane collection from Blue Fern. I think that goes really well together. So that's what I'm using today. All right, you're going to need two pieces of cardstock that measure eight and a quarter by three by five and three fourths. So eight and a quarter by five and three fourths. All right. Then you need your cards, your um, designer paper, your mat, whatever you want to call it, and it measures eight by five and a half. So you're going to need two of each of these, and I'm going to go ahead and glue these down get started. Hopefully we can get through this in no time at all. Whoops. I guess I need to unclog this. I lost my regular pin that goes in here and that one it's not wanting to work too well. So let's see. There we go. I gotta come up with a way. I'm gonna make a little thing on the side of this on the side of this glue where I can stick my little pen in there because I always end up losing my pen and then I have to get one that's not um, stainless steel or whatever the other ones are made out of so that it won't rust. Okay, if you have a right side up or an upside down, just make sure that you put your paper the correct way. Mine does have but it really doesn't matter that much so we're going to try to put it right there that looks pretty good press it down and then the other one mine has a little bit of writing on there so i'm going to try to get that up the right way and see the other side of this paper is pretty too love it. I made the one for me out of the Graphic 45 by the Sea. Of course y'all know. Anything sea, teal, ocean got me. But mine is made out of that, the Graphic 45 by the Sea and that's the Anchors page. I love it. Alright, put these down. The mats on here. Got our mats. We'll lay those right there. Okay, this is your bottom, and the bottom piece is eight and a quarter by four and a half. Okay, eight and a quarter by four and a half, and we're going to score this one. We're going to score it at three quarters. Whoops, on the on the long side. Not, I mean, on the short side, not the long side. So score on the short side at three quarter and then at three and three quarter. This is some good heavy cardstock so I'm going to go over it twice. Okay so that gives you a three quarter of an inch on each side. Now before you fold this, okay so go ahead and put your side panels on if you have a particular side that you want to be the bottom, this paper is a little bit uh, 
rigid on one side and smooth on the other so I'm going to use my rigid side as the bottom put that face up put this face up that's going to glue down just like that and I know you're probably saying oh let's I don't want that on the outside it won't be on the outside once we fold it So you're going to put this face up and then you're going to decide which way. This is going to be my top, so I want this up here, this down at the bottom. Now you're going to put this edge right at the score line, just as close to that score line as you can get it without going over. Okay, and then press it down. Alright, and I'm going to turn it because I work better on this side. And I'm going to do the same with this one. Decide which one is my top. Okay, it looks like my writing's going that way. So this is going to be my top. So I'm going to put that one down right there. it just as close to that score line as you can get without going over match up the ends and press it down okay there we go now what we're going to do is we're going to fold it in so you see you've got something that looks like this there's your bottom and all your edges are smooth and closed up so that works. Alright, we're going to lay this aside and let it completely dry. And then we're going to work on our gussets. Okay, for your gussets, you need two pieces that are 10 by 4 and an eighth. 10 inches by 4 and an eighth. Now on these, you're going, I'm going to put my, glue, my thing back in my glue before I forget. Okay, 10 inches by four and one eighth, two pieces, you're going to score at every half an inch. So I'm going to either fast forward here or skip over this because you know how to score every half inch all the way down. That just makes your little, your little accordion sides. We have our gussets all done and now what we're going to do is you're gonna make sure that your the the bottom portion the let me start all over make sure that the bottom portion of your gusset is flat and pointing in and you're gonna put score tape on the back side right here and you put it right up to the edge you can use a wider score tape if you want I probably should have used the half inch but that'll work and you're going to all right your the score line for the bottom part where the score line starts right there you're going to put this just as close to that score line as you can get if you want your gusset to go all the way to the bottom like mine does which i like that because things don't tend to slide out then the score line that's on the first score line that's on your gusset, you're, that's going to line up with the edge of the paper there. So glue that down. Make sure that it's squared up, and then press it down. Okay. So that is that side. Flip it around. And you're going to do the same thing on the other side. Make sure that your gussets are kind of going the same way. So I've got a flat and then I've got a mountain. I've got a flat and a mountain. So we're good there. Put your score tape on that side. Again, right at your score line, and then I flip it over so that I can see 
if I'm getting it straight or not. Oops. I think I glued it down a little bit too quick. Got it a little bit off, but that will work. There we go. All right, so we got those on either side. Now you need four pieces, five pieces, ever how many pieces you want to put on the inside. I put white on the inside of this one. Your dividers, I think I used four. You can use four or five, just whatever. You've got enough little gussets that you can fill them all up if you want to. But these pieces need to be cut eight and one eighth by four and one eighth. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue some of these on, I think, before I put it together. That way it'll just kind of help me figure out what's going on here. You can do it either way. You can put these, you can put your front and back together and then glue it. Just whatever you, way you want to do it. I think this is going to be easier for me. Just trying to decide how close I want them. I think I want them every other. So if I have five, I can put one in here. Skip that one, put one there. Skip that one, put one there. That one, put one. Yeah, I think that'll work. Okay. So we're just going to run a little glue. And if you want to put a different color, guess it on the inside, that's fine. I just had this paper already out, so I just decided to use it. And you can use these for anything. You don't have to use them for cards. They can be used for your bills. Um, they can be used to separate, you know, some of your craft paper out. Your scraps, your little... Um, papers that you stamp on, just about anything. Okay, so we got that one down. We're going to skip that one and then glue one. Let me make sure that this is going to... stick down. I think we're going to glue one right there. Now on these, don't come all the way up to your score line because you need a little bit of room there. A little wiggle room. So, just put them close but not all the way to the score line. There we go. We'll skip that one. We'll put one there. <laughs> we hope this works out. This is how I kind of changed it around and decided to do. I don't know, but we will see. We'll see in a minute if it works or not. Oops, that one's a little bit, there we go. It's my like wet glue, you can always move it. All right, I'm gonna skip that one and put one there. And this art glue, glue so fast and so quick and so tight that it works wonderful. If you have not got this yet, I have more in stock and more on the way, so grab it. Alright, so there are our gussets, and now we'll do the, glue them to the other side. So we skip the first one and put it on the second one. So we'll put some glue right there. This may seem a little awkward to you. It was, it was. I put mine on the other way on that other one, but it was a little bit more difficult to get them down in there and to get them straight. So I thought this might be a little bit easier, hopefully, if it works. Okay, I skip that one. I put one there. I do believe. If I have them all crooked when we get finished, it's going to be bad. You could mark mark the gussets, I guess, if you wanted to make sure that you got them exactly in the same places. I guess I should have done that, but I didn't, did I? We're just going to hope and pray that it works out. 
Okay. Alright, I skipped that one and then put one here. So let's make sure that we get one here, hopefully. And I have had lots of coffee this morning, so I apologize if I'm shaking a little bit. And I know I'm not supposed to have caffeine. I know, I know, I know. And I'm drinking half-calf, which is not fully caffeine, but sometimes it still makes me shake. Skip that one and put one there. And... Alright, and then that one and that one. Okay. Hey, I think we almost got it correct. Let's see. Let's see if it works. There we go. Yeah. Alright, now we need to put some score tape on these. Because you want something really um something that will hold tight. Of course the glue would work, but I don't know. When things like this, it's going to have a little bit of pressure on them. I just seem to like score tape. So let's pull the top for those. Now I'm going to take one of the backings off at a time. Then what I'm going to do, and I'll try to hold this where you can see, is I'm going to hold that down. I'm going to bring my other piece, and you do have to bend the bottom just a little. And I'm going to put that score line that matches up to the other side right down on that. And then run the side up there. I know that's, I know you couldn't see it, but you see what I'm saying? All I did was just line this up just like the other side and run it just like that. Alright, so we'll do the other side. The other side will be a little easier, hopefully. And all I do is just press it down. And then I bring, let's see if I can hold it up where you can see it. It's a little bit awkward for me. I bring this piece right here to that score line. And don't get the end of your backing confused with your score line. This is your score line down here. And I hope I did that on the other end. So put the score the um guess it right there on your score line i'm gonna have to lay it down sorry it's the only way i can get it straight all right there we go so there it is now that did make the bottom bow a little bit but you know if that bothers you or if you could always put a piece of chipboard on this bottom if you wanted to. I, it's fine with me because it'll eventually settle it, settle down. Or you could put just another couple of pieces of your paper on the bottom to make it a little bit sturdier. But it, it will be fine as soon as it settles down just a little. Okay, I had a guess it left, which is fine. If I need to, I can slide me one in there later if I need another spot. Now what we're going to do is put the ribbon on the outside to tie it by, and I think, hold on one second, I think I'm going to use this ribbon, and this is just some old ribbon that I have had forever and a day, but I think it matches really pretty. So we're going to use about... I would say we're using about a foot, maybe, ribbon for both sides, so you need two pieces. Maybe 12 to 13 inches. Alright, what you're going to do, these are going to be your little pieces that cover up your ribbon to make the ribbon look like it's just coming out of the box like that. These pieces are five and a half by one and one fourth. Okay, now I'm going to use my half inch score tape. If you have some that's wider, then that would be fine too. 
put a piece down about halfway down the little um, piece that you cut just in the center somewhere okay take the backing off then take your ribbon and de decide on which side is which and I think both of mine look the same if you have one that's has you know the right side and the wrong side just make sure you put the right side down you need to put the right side down like that okay do your other one and I can put it in the center and make sure the right side is down now we're going to run another piece of score tape right on top of that and I'm probably going to run two pieces Oops. because I didn't grab the wider score tape so I'm just going to run two pieces of this make sure it's pressed down really well This will help secure your ribbon and it'll put your little pieces on the side. Now what you want to do is find the center of your box and I find the center by using my Tim Holtz ruler but if you don't have one just measure and find your center that way. So my center is right there on this side and then on this side it is right there all right pull up your score tape backing and you're going to put this down with your ribbon underneath and get in frame center that center that up in the bot at the bottom where you made your mark and then try to go straight up as possible I'll get this right in a minute well my fingers stuck to it hold on we're gonna get it we're gonna be there alright so as you can see we started right at the designer paper and just went straight up and it, it covers exactly the designer paper. Then I'm going to erase my little mark and we'll flip it over and do the other side. Okay, again, center it up best you can and then get it as straight as possible. Try to keep your fingers from getting stuck to everything press it down, erase your little mark, and there you go. Now all you need to do is tie your ribbon. Well, put your cards in there first and then tie your ribbon. ribbon cut your the ends of your ribbon off to make them look pretty and that is it you're finished it's a great little card holder like I said um, I'm gonna use one of mine to put just scrap pieces little scrap pieces of Nina cardstock that I use for stamping in or you know I'll put just some pieces of scrap paper in there that are small that I need to kind of keep hold of and keep right at me so I'll make sure I know to use them this one I made this a little bit narrower than I did this one that's up to you I wanted this one a little narrower this one is um, like I said uh, one and one quarter inch wide this one is one inch so it depends on which one you want you can you know alter that anyway 
But like I said, it's for my cards that I'm making, and then one is going to be used for other things, and I will use my little label punch and put me some label, some names on there, and I will definitely use these. I absolutely love them. I think they're so cute. So there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe, and thanks for all of the new subscribers that we have. We really appreciate you following our channel and leaving comments for us. It is absolutely very important to us that we um, get your comments answered as soon as we possibly can. I can't answer all of them, but I try to answer as many as I can. But if you have any questions, I will definitely get to those. So don't forget about the sale that starts in the morning at 10 o'clock. The information I will put at the end of this video. And don't forget about the challenge. I challenge you to make one of these. The link also about all the information on the challenge will be below. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.